David, look at the time. I, I believe it's the Chainsaw Minute. Oh my goodness. And I'm David, and this is your bi-weekly dose of Chainsaw Man. You can join us every other Friday where we see what masterpiece Fujimoto put out this week. I mean, it, it depends on when he puts it out. Like, uh, No, it... It, was, uh, it was officially announced that he's going fortnightly. Cool. All right. Hey, awesome. We'll get that money, that Epic Games money. Yeah. Epic us gamers. Ah, us gamers, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, does anybody here like hey? Shut up, Jordan. I'm Jordan, and if you're looking for regular Shonen Flop goodness, you can find our next episode detailing our first thoughts on Doron Dororon on Monday. And that is the correct pronunciation. You know, like um, David was calling it Doran Doran. I was calling it Dororon. It is actually Doron Dororon. Yeah, well, either way, it's gone, 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 because it got canceled. Um, oh, that's a good joke. I hope people thought that, that was uh, funny. Let's see if anyone in the chat funny? agreed. Was it funny? No comment. I, don't oh, think I it was... love it. Okay. All right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right. Just a heads up, though. These recordings are open to everyone, so listen in and chat along with us on the Shonen Flop Discord every other Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find a link to it in the show notes or on our site. But Jordan, though, enough of that. What? was your devil this week david my devil is the art devil you know i've been doing a lot more art recently you could find that on my uh, on my instagram jordan forbes art uh, but it's so frustrating david oh my god it just why why isn't what i see in here reflected out there it's so frustrating but i i can't stop that's why you gotta if you only want to draw beauty just draw me man i don't want to draw beauty well that's very rude i don't want to draw you either <laughs> ah, I only want to draw the beast. David, what's your devil? So my devil is <laughs> the laundry devil because I keep having to do fucking laundry uh, all the time. <laughs> and I just really hate doing laundry because you have to go all the way down. You have to check if there's a machine open. Like, I feel like if I had my own laundry machine, but it's such a pain. And now I love Rachel. I have to do it every week instead of every other week. David, maybe you should just get more clothes. I, yeah, you're not wrong. Do laundry less. You got more to wear. <laughs> Fair, my friend. Damn right. But enough about that, though, Jordan. The plot summary for Chapter 103, Denji Dream. Ah, uh, the dream of Denji. Last time on Chainsaw Man, Denji saved a cat. A news reporter is going around asking people how they feel about him saving the cat like that. Just like in the end credits of Boondock Saints, actually. <laughs> it's kind of, I'm pretty sure that that's actually a reference to the Boondock Saints. because Oh, it's yeah, it's Fujimoto, of course it is. Some people love him, some people hate him, and Linkara thinks that he's American propaganda by the deep state. <laughs> oh, God, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Dude, he looks like Linkara. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I honestly, I'm going to guess that one of the people they interviewed looks like Fujimoto. Like, uh, I bet to, he inserted himself as the guy who's like, Chainsaw Man sucks. I'll have to go back and look. I think there's one character who could be, but I don't know. At last, the reporter talks to a guy with blonde hair who starts talking about how Chainsaw Man is the best and starts giving out his own phone number, claiming that it's Chainsaw Man's until the cameraman stops him. Listener, believe it or not, this young man is actually a character that we have seen before, and he is actually Chainsaw Man. His name is Denji. What? The ver I know! He's the very person that they're asking about! Denji stands proud as the whole crowd cheers for our favorite boy, Popcorn David. Turns out the mysterious high school student was Yoshida, just no, like every single- was, We didn't talk about a mysterious high school oh, student fuck. in the first. Sorry, it turns out that that mysterious high school student that everybody was wondering about and knew was Yoshida was <laughs> Yoshida. Who approaches oh, Denji? Boy. That's going to be funny after we edit the episode. <laughs> yeah, Yoshida is confused about what the fuck Denji's doing <laughs> and invites him to lunch- his treat. Very important. That's the only way you can get a meeting with Denji. It's true. Denji's broke, <laughs> as he says. <laughs> Yo, listen, go broke or go woke. Uh, uh. He tells our son that he's part of an organization responsible for keeping Chainsaw Man's identity secret and doesn't understand why Denji is risking it getting out. He orders Denji a cake, but takes away Denji's silverware before he can eat it, saying he can't eat it unless he promises not to turn into Chainsaw Man anymore. But... He underestimates the indomitable human spirit that Denji possesses, who proceeds to eat the cake with his own fucking hands like an absolute... Let me see if I get all these. Yeah, Jordan's yeah. listing them out. You can get it, Sigma you get grind, it. uber giga chad, alpha male. Jordan, if I you're talking about Denji, not me. Oh, uh, I'm... Uh, I didn't include thick. Oh, dummy thick. Yeah. 
I actually, so I tore some of my weightlifting pants today, and Rachel was Aww. like, yeah, that's because it's your own fault for being dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> he Colonel, tells you my she pants keep <laughs> ripping apart because I'm too <laughs> dummy thick to work out. <laughs> oh, crap out. Oh, we just lost a listener because of that. Whoops. Uh, he, t- <laughs> he tells Yoshida, he wants people to find out he's Chainsaw Man because the ladies will be all over him. At least Denji is very consistent. Oh, yes. Yoshida has been utterly destroyed by Denji's 100% absolute flawless logic. Sits in silence, completely owned, birthing not only a great chapter of Chainsaw Man, but a reaction image that's going to be used for generations. Oh, 100%. I feel like he had a few of them, honestly. Yes. <laughs> like there's. First of all, Denji's right. <laughs> like we've we've seen multiple women in this chapter just be like, "Oh, Chainsaw Man's so hot." One letter is like, "Chainsaw Man, take my number. I want yeah. your number." No, so it's like he has to stop because on one hand, because the thing is, Denji's correct. The ladies yeah. would love him. It's amazing, right? Oh, and it's so perfect. It's so on brand. It is exactly just so, as you said, so consistent with his character. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing at the end of Chainsaw Man. You think he's really going to change. He's like, dude, I just want to eat shit, party all the time, and have sex with women. Is that so bad a life I want to live? And that's why I got to keep life. I got to beat Makama so I can do all those things. That's all I want too, David. Right? Damn. Can you imagine a better life than that? No, I really can't. Yes, that what is best in life? <laughs> so, though, speaking of best, Jordan, why was this week's chapter a 10 out of 10? Oh, it was the return of our favorite boy, David. Outside of being Chainsaw Man, we got to see Denji in his street clothes as, like, just be Denji. Yeah. Uh, I, I also I also feel like Fujimoto is being very strategic about this because the last chapter, we just got finished with, like, a mini story arc that was pretty harrowing and involved a lot of action and bloodshed and drama. So what you do then, this is, a, this is an old Shakespeare move. You tell yeah. a joke. Pro gamer move. Yeah, an old Hamlet Shakespeare move. That's Hamlet's last name. I also think that Fujimoto's art is getting better. There is one shot of Denji where he's standing and it just looks kind of awkward, though. I know what you mean. But yeah, the... that, that was not a very well trodden panel yeah. of Denji. Everything else looks great, though. But I also think that my new favorite page combo in Chainsaw Man has happened. The first one where Denji is just standing there watching the crowd. And then the next one where Denji has his hands on his hips. And I think that was the awkward drawing you were talking about. But I just love it so much. I thought you were going to respond to that. No, I don't. Oh, never mind. No. Never mind then. David. I have nothing to say about that point. Okay. David, why do you think this is a 10 out of 10? I mean, I just love, first of all, I love the I love the meta comment about Chainsaw Man is too gory for kids. Like, Fujimoto explicitly is like, I don't know why that ran in Shonen Jump. It really shouldn't yeah. have run yeah. in Shonen Jump. Uh, it also just, all the responses were just so fun. I feel like he made more responses than he needed to to get across his point just because they all were just such creative facial expressions and fun character dialogue that he really excels at. And just seeing Denji mimic the panels with his own expressions as he's trying to respond, I thought was really funny. The last woman that they interview before Denji is like, I don't like Chainsaw Man. I bet he only stole that cat so he could eat it later. And then the camera shifts over to Denji. And Denji's- Looking at her. Yeah, he's looking right. And he's just got like this weirded out d- expression. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. And then he was just like, oh, Chainsaw Man didn't eat a cat. Hold on. What? Yeah. He's not He's not eating that kind of cat. No. Hey. And he's not eating the other kind either, because we definitely know Denji's never been late. Yeah. Well, mm. no. No. Mm. I don't know. So. Well, I don't know. We haven't seen it. I mean, he's still looking for the lady. We know yeah. he got to second base. That's kind of it. <laughs> That's true. We have canonical confirmation that denji has gotten to second base that is true i also love how it still shows how denji is still new to the world like how he didn't know what the word caramel was yeah by the way david how do you say it uh, the way i just said it oh caramel yeah same i feel like i feel like if you say caramel is just not as nice sounding yeah no it's just <laughs> that sounds like you're going somewhere oh i'm gonna go to the caramel you know get a yeah. get my uh, retires adjusted okay i don't know the human anatomy very well we're cars <laughs> we're car um someone on reddit was like oh, my wife keeps yelling at me because i i drive with both feet and i would like it took me like i had to read some responses to remember why that's a bad thing <laughs> yeah yeah um, i drive with both feet instead of one yeah but i mean the best i think the best thing was definitely that speechless panel at the end where he's like you know what denji owns who he is denji just wants to fuck around and find out my favorite part of that i didn't catch this on the first read but the second one i did um 
I think the last panel, he just puts the silverware back in the box where he yeah, pulled he it out of. It's great. Like, just like, <laughs> damn, okay. I, I have been outmatched by this this king of facts and logic. I also like how the waitress gave them extra silverware because they didn't assume that Denji was going to be eating all that food by himself. I think he has like three forks and knives. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, he has more than two people's worth of silverware in his hand. I also noticed that when Denji was uh, eating the cake, there was a slice taken out of the opposite side, which Yoshida had taken, which meant that Denji uh, ate this cake in the grossest possible way. He could have turned it around and just kind of taken another slice like next to the slice. No, no, that's not enough for Denji. That's not enough of a power move. He wants to devour it in front of him. Yep. In the most glorious way. I'm just imagining what if he had gotten the spaghetti first and he was just eating <laughs> fistfuls of spaghetti. But I, I wonder if Fujimoto tried different things and he's like, no, that seems just that's too ridiculous. Well, it's symbolic, David, because he wants the cake. We all want the cake. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yeah. So I think this was absolutely one of the best chapters so far. I mean, every that's the thing. It's hard to say what the best chapter is so far of part two is because every single one of these chapters would be probably the best chapter of any other manga. Which is why we say why it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, we don't even bother. Fujimoto's fucking God. Oh my God. He's so... Ah! This is everything I ever wanted, David. Just a good Chainsaw Man Part 2. And I'm getting it. I know. I can't wait for Chainsaw Man Part 3 Battle Tendency. <sighs> well, that would be uh, Stardust Crusaders. Yeah, I know. This is Battle Tendency. I still remember when we were talking about they made a sequel to Mora King and called it Beetle Tendency. <laughs> So what would part three of Chainsaw Man be called? If it was a parody of Stardust Crusaders, it would be uh, oh. Power Dust Crusaders. <laughs> you know, it's just part three is fuck Makama, man. Sawdust? Sawdust Crusaders! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, because I guess it's a chain. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I, you know what's growing on me, Jordan. Hey, I'm going to give it to you. Sa sawdust. I'm liking it more. It's getting a point every time I say it. Sawdust <laughs> Crusaders is part three of Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Well, actually, I don't know if it sucks. Oh, you know what? It's pretty good. Oh, it's, it's part two, the best part thing two of Chainsaw yeah. Man is horny tendency. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then part man. one is just uh, Phantom Blood Devil. Because hmm. well, that literally happens. Yeah. Oh, that is true. All right. Fuck. All right. Yeah. What if every part just lines up with a JoJo part? Oh, yeah. Um, Joe jo Lion Devil. Uh... Part four is Chainsaws Are Unbreakable. Mm. it's not as it's mm, we can workshop it we can workshop you're right <laughs> all right let's get <laughs> all right look i'm just imagining part seven and denji has to ride beam across the country see i would read that Are i you would kidding oh, beam, me? i miss beam so much i swear i, I will beam. be so sad if beam doesn't help denji out in hell maybe uh, i just want like a little bit of a cameo you know i trust fujimoto with every direction he's gonna go but i want to see my boy again yeah my friend god beam was his best boy he was he was a good boy. He was a good dog. I don't know how to respond to that. Oh, I'll be say Cobaini's Cardust Crusaders, and that's really good too. Okay, I do like Cobaini's Cardust Crusader. Cardust hey, what's best Crusader. Best girl. Cardu yeah, that it is Cardust Crusaders. Okay, yeah. All right, but I think that's all the time we have for today's. The minute is over. It's true, David. I'm looking at the clock, and it looks like the second hand just past the twelve. Oh no! I guess we gotta go. Wait, actually, Jordan, we got to dive back in because we have a listener oh. question who asked us, what did you think of the art at the end of the chapter? And I I thought about this a lot. I couldn't think of any apparent symbolism in it. I was really the hoping at like, the end of the chapter. Yeah, because there's a bunch of artwork when he just slumps in the chair looking at Denji eating his cake. Oh, once that, that last funny, that funny, very last it. panel, I honestly could not think of any symbolism because it's all like trees and patterns and stuff. And there's like a lot of generic things, like maybe it represents the wood mouse or the, the forest mouse, mm. which is what Denji, I think, isn't. I forget how that conversation. I think he said Denji wanted to be the city mouse because that's where all the good food is. Mm. Well, there is a cage and the, a cage is usually very symbolic. And there's like mm -hmm. it's dead center and it looks like there's a feather in there. Oh, yeah. Wasn't like also a bird or something? Wasn't that something like there was a hawk or something? Yeah. And Aza's kind of caged, you could argue. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Mm, yeah, I'm trying to think where the flowers fit in. I don't know. You're my flower, Jordan. Thank you, David. I mean, I think we'll just have to see if any of these symbolize different elements of the remainder of the plot, because it could be that's not a reference, but rather it's a foreshadowing to Ooh. different events that have occurred or that will be occurring. 
Yeah, maybe this will be like when Luffy shows a drawing of the uh, of the members of a Straw Hat crew, and then yeah, you go I back mean, and you're like, "Whoa!" Maybe we'll go back and be like, "Whoa!" I mean, look. It's, it's just Frankie, but yeah. yeah. Oh, there which is, is still a, the funniest uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, there is like an upside down star, which is like you know that's pretty heavy metal and Satan and stuff. How can the star be upside down? It's symmetrical. Mm, no, it isn't. Oh, that kind of star. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not 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 the star of David. Uh-huh. David. Well, we have lasted. Do we have anything else? Or because I believe no, that we I have think lasted all I want to say is Jordan, thank you so much for helping edit this episode. Oh, you are very welcome, David. Thank you as well for helping edit this episode. And uh, I want to give a big thank you to everyone uh, that was in the audience today. It's a ton of fun seeing your comments, and as you can tell, we interact with you too. So please feel free to join us every Wednesday at five thirty when there is a new chapter out that week. And you can find us on Twitter at Shonen Flopcast and our website shonenflop.com. We're also on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, or wherever else you get your podcast. And props to Shannon for the awesome cover art. You can find her online at Illuminati. And uh, stay tuned for this Monday's episode where we give our first thoughts on Duran Duran Ron. Duran Duran, hungry like the wolf, right? Uh, uh, ugh, look, David, I mean, we've been here for so long. The chainsaw minute la- passed a while ago. I think I think it's time to leave. I'm sorry. All right. Well, bye. Yeah. Bye, listener.